Hi, Assalamualaikum. I will make famous Asian dessert gulab jamun and I will make them with rawar. Making gulab jamun with rawar is very easy and very tasty. They will be exactly same as you will buy them from shop. Here are the ingredients that I will use to make gulab jamun. I am taking 1 cup rawar or little bit more than 1 cup. I have a pinch of cardamom. Baking powder I will use only 4 teaspoon. 3 tablespoon of all purpose flour. 1 cup of sugar. And water 1 and half cup. Now I will make sugar syrup. To make sugar syrup you need 1 saucepan. 1 cup sugar and 1 and half cup water. I am adding sugar and water in a saucepan. Put it on a stove and turn the flame to medium. I will cook it on a medium flame till the water starts boiling. Water is almost near to boiling. Now I am gonna add pinch of saffron in it. This is an optional if you want to add, add if you don't want to skip it. Water started boiling. Now we will let it boiling for 3 to 4 minutes. At this point I will add pinch of cardamom in it. 4 minutes are over. Now I will turn off the flame. Now I will make my dough ready. Here I took white plate. I am adding rubber in it. I will knead the rubber to make it uniform. You can see how soft the texture is getting by kneading. Now I am gonna add 3 tablespoon all purpose flour. I will add it by straining it. Straining is necessary to avoid lumps in it. Keep kneading the dough. It will depend on your rubber how much you need to knead the dough. If your rubber is hard you can add little bit water to make it smooth and soft. I am adding 1 4 teaspoon baking powder in it. Here you can see the consistency of the dough, how smooth and soft it is now. Make small balls or whichever shape you want.
here i made 18 balls from this dough your ball should be crack free and smooth i kept frying pan on a stove to heat the oil here you have to be very careful about the temperature of the oil don't overheat it our oil is hot now to check the heat of the oil i added a smallest part of a dough in an oil after adding the ball in an oil small bubble should be formed around the ball if bubble started forming around the ball it means your oil is on perfect temperature and it is a time to add the gulab jamun in an oil here i started adding gulab jamun if gulab jamun floats at once after adding it into oil it means your oil is overheated then you have to wait till the temperature become little bit lower after adding gulab jamun don't touch them if you want to move them move the frying pan or stir the spoon in an oil in a round shape then they will start moving keep moving them so that they equally get fried from every side otherwise your gulab jamun will be cooked from outside and will remain uncooked from inside now you can move them softly with the spoon i will keep frying them for 8 to 10 minutes on this point i will keep moving them so they get a golden shade from every side they turned into the shape that i want if you want more darker shade then you can fry them little bit more now i will add them in a sugar syrup i heated the sugar syrup again just we will heat it little bit more than a not normal temperature here i am adding gulab jamun in it No I will soak them in a sugar syrup for 2 hours so that they absorb the sugar syrup 2 hour past gulab jamuns are ready to eat I will show you their softness Here you can see how soft and spongy they are Here you can see how well they are cooked from inside Try them you will gonna love them If you enjoyed my recipe press the thumbs up button If you have any query comment below If you are new on my channel you can subscribe Allah Hafiz bye